Some of the things we expect with some. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. So welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new, but if you're regular, welcome back. Today I wanted to share a little bit more information about uh, my choice of writing application because I've had a few messages through and I did that video a couple of weeks ago called Top Writing Applications of 2018 and of course I shared some really specifics, uh, specific ones and naturally I wanted to share what one I prefer to use. Now, of course, I use Google Docs and a couple of other editors to natively edit stuff. And sometimes if I'm wanting to go into an article that I've pre-created, I'll probably do it there because it's just functionally a lot easier. But the application I use for writing and mainly due to a host of benefits is Bear. Now, I am actually planning a Skillshare course on this very soon, guys. So do stay tuned for that one. But hopefully this overview of the reasons why I'm using Bear will be useful for you. Now the first thing that is first is definitely tags. I really do like the tagging function on the side. I split them really simply, like nothing over complicated. I have the likes of client work, um, scripts for YouTube so that I know the sort of bullet points I'm talking about and also other elements of it as well. So the tags, although really simple, are really great to add and actually don't add that much of complexity when it comes to finding notes as well. Now, the one thing I really like about the editor is that it's really well structured. So there's obviously this three panel view, but when you go into the main view, the editor looks great. And once you learn the keyboard functions, it just is fantastic. Now, the editor you can access with the quill on the right hand side if you don't know the keyboard functions yet. The editor has a host of benefits like images, links, and loads more. And it's probably one of my favorite editing abilities on that side, especially with the headers, the markdown, and even adding code if you want to. Now, the one thing I do like inside of a editor, and something I do quite a lot with Google Docs, is use the full mode function. So I'll try and hide that full mode so that I can see a full screen when I'm writing. And I really do enjoy that inside of Bear. That one panel view, if I go into it and I'm offline, I can really focus on whether it's a bit of client work or whether it's actually a bit of uh, you know personal writing or even for Medium or even for YouTube. I quite like that, having that completely offline sort of style. And the good thing is with no notifications, you sort of don't get buzzed as well. Now, the one thing I've done in the past is once I've created a piece or like I'm even like viewing it or want to read it afterwards, I'll export it in PDF format and then I'll send it to myself on email. That way, when I'm on the go or even through the Bear app, I can actually view the PDF and it just looks great and it looks like an end piece. And sometimes I've even sent maybe some notes or some references to clients because the PDF looks that great. Now, one of my favorite things on iOS and Mac is when you change the theme. I've got a really simple theme running. I'm not too sure what the name is, but I'll include it here. Um, is you can actually change the app icon based on the theme. Now, this is great for if you're an iPhone lover and love your home screen to be in like, in like trend, like beautiful colors. Um, and that's one of my favorite things to do. So I really like the iOS and Android, app, um, sorry, iOS and Mac application uh, that allow you to do that. Now, one of the things that I really like about Bear's sort of design is the text as well. There's a host of um, different texts you can use and particularly I like the one that I'm using now. I find it a really nice font to work with, especially when you're writing. It makes it cool, simple, easy to write. And I quite like how you can just get sort of lost in a sort of piece. Uh, when you're writing it. Now, you're probably wondering, uh, of course, uh, everyday activities, how do you access Bear? So I tend to grab my laptop when I'm doing longer pieces. Um, like for example, if I'm traveling um, or even if I'm like in a coffee shop and I'm like, okay, I need to write this piece or this article, um, I'll write it out and then I'll actually bring it into the native experience. So for example, let's give you an example. I'm posting to Medium. I'll write it out beautifully on Bear beautifully and then post it to Medium. So I'll just copy and paste it and put it in. Of course, it takes a little bit of reformatting to the platform, but to be honest, the time it takes you to write a beautiful experience, it, it's worth it because you can just bring it over. Now, naturally, uh, I have been using Bear for about a year and a half now, and there is Pro, so that's definitely something worth considering, especially if you've got an iPhone and a Mac, because obviously they sync together. And that really does help, for example, 
when I'm in a coffee shop and I'm writing out, out on my Mac uh, a script, for example, a few bullet points for me to go through, and then I come home and I'm, I'm filming and I'm like, what do I do to like, like I just grab my phone and I've got all of my bullet point notes there. So it's really helpful, um, I'd highly recommend it. Of course, there's tons others and I'll include the writing application, uh, the actual list, listicle below, so you guys can go away. And I'll include the article that me and Ash Reed worked on as well below. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd really love to hear what your writing application is. Anyway, I hope it gave you a nice overview. Let me know if you want to hear more of these um, because I'm probably going to do another one on Todoist soon and loads more applications. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. <laughs>